What's going on, Pat? We are back with another video. Let's go, let's go. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to install, and I'm going to review the Hitchhiker. Yeah, this is by Valco Baby. So it's like a board that you attach to the back of your stroller. I'm going to show you how to install this, and we're going to be installing it on the Nuna Demigro. Bam. Voila, here's my baby. So if you guys didn't know, we actually did a review on this stroller. Uh, I'm gonna link it down below if you wanna go watch that. It's a pretty good stroller, it's a solid stroller. Uh, we can fit both of our babies on it, right? So we have a one-year-old and a soon-to-be four-year-old, Axel, over here. Axel, say what's up to the family. Did their mommy buy me gummies? <laughs> All right, go eat your gummies, bro. All right, so in this box, it will include two of these clamps, Instructions manual, an anchor, so it's like a strap and an anchor in the event that, you know, it snaps off, that's like added support. Two of these hitches, two of them, the board, and two of these wheels, as you can see, already went ahead and attached and the wheels. <laughs> yeah, put it, yeah, yeah, in front of the camera right there. <laughs> two of these wheels. They're super easy to install. But just these snap them on. are super easy to get. So one of the reasons why I'm making this video is because the instruction manual, they only tell you how to basically assemble this, but they don't tell you how to put it on the stroller. So if you guys have, if you guys don't have the Demi Grow, you can apply the same concept to you know any any stroller. It's supposed to be a universal um, attachment. I'm gonna show you how to assemble this first, and then we're gonna snap it on the Demi Grow. What up, buddy? All right. So now that you have the wheels on the board you know hopefully I don't have to show how to do that I don't know how to take them off to be honest you get the clamp right so you have this clamp and it's supposed to go on so you have the board right where the writing is there should be these little squares right here so that clamp goes in there but before you do that you have to loosen up this uh, this tightener Right, so when you put the clamp in, you see these little, there's ridge, there's ridges right under, right? There's these ridges, make sure it's facing down. All right, so insert like that and then tighten. Repeat that same step on the other side. So now you should have something that looks like this, right? So if you want, if, if uh, it doesn't look like this when you attach it, you have to make sure that these clamps are facing on the inside or whatever they're called, uh, the hitch. You have to make sure they're facing on the inside, inward. Um, if it doesn't look like this, what you could do is push on this end right here and it'll adjust it. It'll go up and down, whatever, right? So, if it doesn't look like that, don't worry, just do that step. Down ain't gonna load up on them dang old chiclets, man. That's why you go down. Next, we have the attachment that goes on the stroller. As you can see right here, this is the little the pull up to release right so um it'll be best that way you know something doesn't accidentally hit it down if you clamp them with the with with this facing upwards you do that right so you're supposed to you're supposed to take that apart so when you take it apart you have this little thing this washer will fall off you got the tightener right you have the actual strap and then you have the clamp I'm gonna show you how I put it on. Oh, well, somebody's peeking. <laughs> All right, y'all. So on the Nuna Demi Girl, I don't know how other strollers look, but they have this. There's a little slit right here. I don't know if you can see it, but it's literally the perfect size for the strap. All right. So this is where I'm hooking this up. Right. First thing you're gonna want to do is make sure this is tight right here. And there's little crevices right here. Hi. You gotta make sure that it's yeah, but on the tight. Tight. Uh, Don't tight or fall down. See right here, it's still pretty loose. So I wanna shift it up just a little bit more. Boom, like that. So right here, once you have it tightened, you slip this through like so. Yeah, because the store makes run because oh, and the then wheels. put the washer in. And then the tightener. Right, and this is gonna make it super tight. 
All right, you gotta make it to the point where it doesn't shift up or down because you don't want you don't want that board to be wobbly. All right, so that's on there pretty tight. I'm gonna give it another another two. What up, dog? What's going on? with your baby? All right, and you want you want this little item right here? You want this to be sideways because you don't want it to go. You don't want it to be in the way of this clamp release. Oh, tell the tell the wolf pack why why you being like this? Why you being like this right now, huh? <laughs> all right so this is how you do this step right here now you just have to repeat it on the other side all right y'all i had to put the baby in the walker because you want to do something more active say hello hola hola all right so now that the clamps are on now it's time to put the board as you can see the clamp the to clamp it it's on top and it doesn't really fit all right so we're going to have to adjust the width of this to adjust the width you just have to untighten right here on both sides so you see here I'm gonna untighten it okay so now that they're both untightened I'm going to adjust accordingly Okay. Right. So we need to be basically like that. So let's tighten it back up. Okay, both of these are tight. Now let's clamp them in. Alright, so they're both in now, and let's adjust this right here. Alright y'all, so I could not figure out how I was able to attach that thing without taking out the guards, or the wheel guards. So these are the guards that I took out. I don't know if you noticed prior, um, I would move it, but the wheel wouldn't turn because this thing is pressed up against the wheel. So this is what I had to do. So as you can see, I took the guards out. And now it's gliding, baby, working perfectly. So as you can see right there, that's the gap that's left. No, not a lot. And uh, there you have it. So now Axel can stand on this and uh, Savi can ride on that. It's perfect. come in clutch when when uh, we're out in the store and he doesn't want to be sitting down he just wants to stand up you know so you can just stand on that so now moment of truth can I collapse this can I close the stroller and put it away without having to mess with the attachment or basically take the whole thing off right so let's try that I take it you have to basically do this Because I said, we'll put this right here. All right, so you can't collapse it with the board on it. Let's see if we could collapse it with at least the anchors on it. Yeah, now we can stand up right here. We'll, uh, we can see anything. Yeah, because it's... Good. All right, so the board is off. You know, easy unlatch. Now let's see if... This gets in the way of closing it. Ooh. So as you can see, it, it does get in the way of closing the stroller. We aren't able to latch it close with this, but I mean, it's still foldable. I think we will be able to put it on the car. That's obviously a really big downside to this. Cause I really don't want to mess around with these and take them off every time you know, I got to fold it up and put it in the car. There you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys bought this and you have the Demi Grow and you were able to figure out um, a different position for those anchors because that's honestly the only position that I was able to find um, for that board. So 
Let me know. You already know if you made it this far. You're a real one. For me and my family, we'll see you to the next one. Later.